Hello everyone, Glenda Bollett here and welcome to my craft room. Oops, wrong screen. There we go. Hi everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm just going to pop over to my Facebook page and get this streamed into my, my group so that everybody gets to see it. Let's see, go to that one, go to group, go to my VIP, hit post. Yay, there we go. All right, we're ready. Are you ready to stamp tonight? Are we going to have some fun? Yay! So I had originally planned on doing um, some cards using the Favored Flowers designer paper. And I can show you those later on in a bit if you want. But after Thursday night, everybody was so interested in the legendary ride. Hi, Yvonne. That I thought I would change it up and we would do a legendary ride card. So we're going to do motorcycles tonight. And I'm going to show you the trick I used so that you can have a shiny motorcycle without all the muss and fuss of embossing powders and stuff. Hi, Connie and Norma and Holly. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining me. Oh, how exciting. I love it when people join me for stamping. Okay, so enough of me. So last night, last night was Sunday. Yeah, last night, over in my VIP group, I had a free online class. And we had a few different ways to use up designer paper. So if you're not part of my VIP group over there, Come and join us because we have a lot of fun there. Um, the class, I hold it the last Sunday of every month. I have a free online class. You can join me on Zoom or you can join me by watching the live stream because I stream it to my VIP group. That's it. I don't stream it anywhere. Else. Oh, you haven't done your cards yet, Connie? Oh, uh oh. Hi, Marsha, Sharon. Okay, so if you're not part of my... Um, VIP group, you need to become part of my VIP group. So just let me get that link for you and I'll put it in the comments. If you are um, a replay warrior, thank you so much for joining us and watching the replay. This will also be uploaded to my YouTube channel. So you can watch it on my YouTube channel as well. Okay, so I'm going to put... That's not what I want. Come on, dude. Uh oh. Don't you hate it when you try to do something and your computer does something completely different? <laughs> okay, so there's the link to become part of my VIP group. It's a lot of fun. We have a lot of stuff. So last night I shared um, a, a technique, it's called the stack and shuffle. And I thought I would show you the finished cards because I didn't get them done last night because then we would have been there for like three and a half hours. But I did do them today. So I'm using the irid I used the irid irresistible blooms bundle and the hello irresistible designer paper. Hi, Valerie. Blue is my color. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Marsha. So in this technique, you make four cards. So you see, they all kind of have this, they all have the same layout. They all use the same papers. So if you want to know how to make these cards, you need to go to my VIP group and you need to search out the, the video from last night, because this will tell you step by step how to do the background. And then all I did was die cut some flowers and leaves for the front. The sentiment comes from the Irresistible Bloom stamp set. And then I finished off the insides as well. So my Irresistible Blooms, while well, I'm getting myself organized here, my Irresistible Blooms class is coming up in April. You have until April the 1st to register for it. So if you, if you want to be part of that, you can get the kits plus, you can get the bundle plus, you can do the tutorial, or you, if you're part of my monthly tutorial subscription, you get four cards instead of three. Hello, Janet. Okay, so I have my, oh, I guess I should show, I haven't showed you the card yet. Here's the card we're doing. So this uses the entire legendary ride suite, which is, I don't think that's what it's called, but. I think it's called the Ready to Ride Suite. Let me show it to you. Um, 
by the bay, ready to ride. Okay, so it's on page 68 and 69 of the mini catalog. And don't forget, this mini catalog retires at the end of April. So you, we don't, we won't know until the beginning of April what is retiring and what is staying. But there's the there's the suite that I'm using. It's the bundle, the metal plate embossing folder, the adhesive back studs and then the gorgeous specialty paper so this is part of the specialty paper this is just silver foil but that's the that's the embossing folder thank you yeah don't don't tell anybody but this is um our local son's birthday card but i don't think he'll be watching will he <laughs> we'll see. Okay, I'm using Tahitian Tide and Memento Ink. And don't forget, anybody who purchases the um, Legendary Ride bundle from me gets a copy of this. Oh, oh, my arm's not quite long enough. This is a step-by-step -step diagram of how to put the bike together because it has to go together in a certain order or it doesn't work. I'm going to use a legendary ride stamp set, the legendary ride dies, the sentiment, this part of the sentiment, it says happy, comes from biggest wish, here, metal plate embossing folder, alphabet a la mode dies to do the birthday part, and then I'm going to finish it off with some adhesive back, what did I call them? Studs. I don't know. It The name just sounds funny to me. Adhesive back studs. And I have the draw to do tonight for the share it Saturday on the 18th of February. So don't let me forget to do that. All right. So there's the studs down there in the corner. And there's the inside and the envelope. Okay. So pull my sleeves up. Get started. So what? I haven't cut out anything because I wanted to show you step by step how to do this. What I have done is I've taken the alphabet a la mode letters. So it says birthday and I just attached them to my cardstock with a post-it note. And I'm going to run that through and get those cut right now. Then I don't have to work. And I've got adhesive sheet on the back of this cardstock. So anytime you use the alphabet a la mode dies because they're so thin you really need to have adhesive sheet on the back of it just for ease of attached mobility is that a word i guess it is now hello glenda lavender okay so this piece is we're going to run this through with the metal plate embossing folder so I'll do that now. Now this one has a has a definite pattern in it. So you want to make sure you line it up. See, there's a line down here. Stampin' Up gives you that so you can line your cardstock up and make sure you get it straight. Most of our embossing folders, it doesn't matter whether it's on there straight or not. But this one definitely want to make sure the pattern is straight. There's Dimity. Hello. All right. So there's the embossed. Look at that. Look at doesn't that look exactly like that metal checker plate stuff that men use on their toolboxes in the back of the truck? I think it does. Okay, so we got the letters. We've got the checker plate. Just have to get the dies. This is for the inside. So I'm going to take that and the envelope and just put it off to the side because that only needs a little bit of stamping. This piece is to do parts of the motorcycle and it has adhesive sheet on the back. And I usually do this to remind myself that it's got adhesive sheet on there. Hello, Debbie. Um, and that's for the sentiment. This is for the bike. And then this is for the bike. So there's parts of the bike and then there's the background of the bike. So there's the background 
And that's this piece. And that's what I'm going to show you how to make that shiny. And then um, there's the other pieces. So you have your tires. Um, what else? Um, I'm just looking to see what else. Have your, your tires, this part of the tire, not this part. This part's going to be silver. Yeah, I don't remember. We'll get going and figure it out. Okay, so I'm going to do the background first. So tell me, should I should I do shiny wheels or should we leave them matte? What do you think? So I'll show you. So it's really hard to turn this cardstock into shiny cardstock. Yeah, it's really hard. You're ready for the big tip? Packing tape. That's it. So you just you take a piece of packing tape, just your regular packing tape, and put it on here. That's it. Now I have glossy cardstock. Pretty cool, eh? Hi, Wendy. So where's my scissors? I need my scissors because I have to... Valerie wants matte wheels. Okay, so you just pull that off. This is the excess. So all I did to pull that off is I just started it a little bit. And then you pull it against the edge of that cardstock and it rips right off. That's it. That's how you get shiny cardstock. Not bad, eh? So I'm just going to make sure it's it's all attached. Now we're going to die cut that. And that's going to give us a shiny background for our bike. So we'll do that. Oops, sorry, avalanche. Oh, I lost it. Where's my plate? I'm sorry. You just got to see my big ass in there. Up in the air. My apologies. Okay. So we have our, our bicycle background. Look. Look at that. Look at how shiny that is now. It's a perfect shiny bike. Now, I don't know any motorcycle person that doesn't have a shiny bike. They're not matte. They are shiny. So you, the other way to do that is to put... <clears throat> Versamark all over your cardstock and clear embossing powder. But that is so much easier, let me tell you. Oh, you know what I didn't do? Oh, that's because I used it here. I need to get the pieces. So let's take the let's take this off. This is just a post-it note. And my letters. And this has adhesive sheet on the back of it. So we got those. And then I'm going to use, I hope I have enough. I might have to get another piece because I need to cut out a couple of pieces for the, for the bike. Okay, so we need the seat. So there's the seat. And we need two um, those things called fenders. Oh my gosh. It's like, hello, Blondie. I think I'm going to get them on here. We'll see. Let's see if I can fit them all on here. This still has adhesive sheet on it too. There. Okay, so I'll cut those out now. Come on, don't move on me. Hold your breath that I get this. Oh, thanks. Yeah, see, you never know what you're going to learn when you come and visit me in my craft room. Okay, so we have the we have the seat and the fenders and the bike and the letters. Now, we're going to get the silver, and I want to do... I want to do the frame. So 
So here's the frame. Now the frame does everything. Um, you don't have to, it does all the silver parts and then we just have to cut a couple of wheels. One, two, and thank goodness for stamping up, giving us two wheel dies. Okay, I'm gonna cut those out. And then, oh, so there's those out. Now we have this part. So this, this is, you can't really tell, but it's in behind there. Let me show you on this. It might show you a little bit better. So this part, we have to cut this. So it's kind of like the engine. So I'm going to get more packing tape. More packing tape on here. And I've discovered if you have to put two pieces on because it's not quite wide enough, once you get everything die cut, you can't tell anyways. I'm just going to put that around you behind. Okay, so now I need this piece. And then you wanted matte, mm -hmm. matte wheels. Uh oh, because I put packing tape all over that. Let me get another piece of black. We need matte wheels. There we go. So we're going to have a um, a shiny engine, and we'll have matte wheels. Okay, I'll cut that out. Oh, got to put adhesive sheet on this or it's really going to be a, a pain in the butt, let me tell you. The first time I made this, put this um, motorcycle together, I didn't use adhesive sheet. Yeah, don't do that. Get adhesive sheet. You will regret it if you don't these things are like cheap for what you get because you don't have to you know, don't have to deal with tombow there we go so i'll cut that out too two wheels in matte one engine in glossy and we'll run that through Okay, now I think we have all of our pieces. Let's let's just check. We have this and that and that and two we two tire no two wheels two tires two fenders and a body. Yes, got it. Okay, get our pieces out. So you guys. Remember that tomorrow is the last day for celebration. So if you haven't got everything you want from the celebration brochure, then that needs to be done before 11 o'clock or midnight mountain time tomorrow, which is like 10.59 our time, Pacific time. And we're only having one celebration this year. They're not doing two like they did last year. So once this one is over, it's over. And also over is the, the great joining special that's going on right now where you can get $225 worth of stuff of your choice. It's not stuff that Stamping Up tells you you have to have. It's your choice. And only pay $135 plus tax in whatever province you're in. Some provinces tax and some provinces don't. So if you're not already a demonstrator and you have a list of stuff that you want, contact me because you may want 
to do it that way instead of just placing an order. Okay, so we've got number one. Number two, we're going to put the engine on. So just take off the, the liner off the back. And it goes this way. That's the seat and that's over the back wheel. And you just kind of, you line it up. Hang on. So line it up to the top. And with the packing tape on there, you have a bit of movability too. There. Okay. So now we have our glossy bike. Ooh, shiny. Yes, I agree, Connie. It was very overwhelming. Okay. Then number three, you put the seat on. So that's this part. I'm putting my dies back where they, where they live so I don't lose them. And I was talking with some demonstrator friends today about picking up um, our embellishments. And they said to me, well, don't you use the putty end of your take your pick tool? It's like, uh, no, I don't. So they were giving me heck because it's so much easier, apparently. So I'm going to try it tonight. Okay, then the seat goes on at the top like that. So there's our seat. And then number four, you put the, the wheels on. So that's these. Let me get this so I can get rid of the bits. Once you have that cheat sheet, it's not hard at all to put this together. That just goes, and especially if you've used adhesive sheet, because as you can tell, it's going together so easy. All right, and the one on the back. Okay, so there we are. We have our engine, we have our seat, we have our wheels. So that was number four. Number five, you put your tires on. And they just go over top of your wheels. Like that. Oops. So just before I came on here, I was talking with my sister and her hubby. And we got another leg of our, our England adventure done. So we booked our last accommodation and we decided what we're doing while we're in London. Okay, so that was number four. No, number four, number five. Number six, you put the, the frame on. So that's this part. Thanks, Debbie. Get off the, the little pieces. But yeah, um, my sister lives uh, in Sun Peaks, which is a ski mountain in Kamloops, which is the interior of British Columbia, where Debbie lives. And she was rubbing in the fact that they had champagne powder and they were skiing all morning. The powder was up to her knees deep. And I said to her, well, that's not very deep. <laughs> Is she shorter than I am? Yeah, she swore at me. She called me the B word. I said to her, look, I, there's not very many people in the world I get to tease about being shorter than me. Okay, so we're going to put this on top like this. So you make sure that that goes down in the middle of your front tire. Oops, wait a sec. And your... um. Fenders go where they're supposed to be. And then this goes here like that. And then that goes in the middle of that tire. And then you have your muffler. So your muffler is right there. Yeah, lots of snow. They had, she said it was amazing. 
Okay, so there we go. Now that's number six, and then number seven and eight. You put your, you put the um, fenders on. Now you can leave it like that. You can have chrome fenders if you want. I just decided that I wanted blue fenders to match the blue bike. Why not? It's my bike. I can pretty well make it do what I want. There we go. The whole bike is together now. Now I'm going to take my um, block and just rub it over the top of it just so it gets good and stuck. And that's it. There's paper underneath there. That's it. We're done. That's how hard the bike is. So once you get the sheet that tells you step by step what to do, it goes together really easy. And you can see how shiny it is. Okay. So that one is glossy and this one is matte. So you, that's what the difference is. And any self-respecting motorcycle owner has a shiny bike. They don't have a, they don't have a matte bike. And then you have these perfect little circles left over from inside the wheels. Okay. Put this together now. We're going to put the, the embossed silver foil right onto our card base. So if anybody is interested in getting the starter kit, you don't have to be at run it like a business like I do, but you will enjoy at least 20% off of all of your orders. All right, there we go. There's our checker plate on. Now the piece, oh shoot. I should have put that on first. Oh, well, I'll just cut it down. Hang on. I'm going to cut this down to five and a quarter. Okay. i get some adhesive on that. So tell me, what did you do on the weekend? Did you have, did you get lots of snow? Were you snowed in? Were you sunny, rainy like Dimity had? Did you do anything exciting? I spent the whole weekend in my craft room and packing my trailer because we're supposed to be going camping on Wednesday. Oh. Debbie was snowed in. Valerie made cards. It's awesome. Yeah, we weren't snowed in. We were lucky um, where we live on the island. We were one of the few places on the island that didn't get snowed in. On the west coast of the island, they got like feet of snow. On the east coast of the island, they got feet of snow. And us in the middle got mm, maybe four inches at the most. And it didn't stay long. It disappeared. Connie had snow off and on, and it's snowing again. And Connie lives down just outside of Reno, Nevada. Glenda mm, melted with, oh, you must live in a different part of Australia from um, Dimity, Glenda. So Glenda and I are part of, I've told you guys before, there's a Facebook group called the Glenda Gaggle. And that's where Glenda and I met. We are part of the Glenda Gaggle. There's like 500 Glendas that belong to this exclusive Facebook group. You have to be named Glenda to be part of the group, which I think is pretty cool because it's not it's not a a widely used name. 
Oh, you're in central Queensland. Oh, okay. Yeah, Dimity's up at the, the top. Yvonne watched curling and went to Bulldogs game. Oh, went to Bulldogs games more than one. Dimity says it's still raining, sitting in front of an air conditioner. Oh, yeah, I bet you. Your rain is not cold like ours is right now. Wendy had snowmageddon. Yeah, I, our son who lives where Wendy lives in the central interior of British Columbia, he showed us um, pictures of their snowfall. Oh, my gosh. I told him to keep it there, but to have it gone by the, when are we going up there? We're going up there on the the 16th. So I told him he had to have it gone by the 16th. His reaction was, yeah, not going to happen. <laughs> okay. So I'm getting just putting these down where they're going to go. Now, you can be, you can be um, OCD and want to make this straight, but I'm not going to because I'm trying to let that part of my personality go. So I'm trying to do things more at a jaunty angle. My computer just did something weird again where it goes blank. Come on, come back. Glenda says, when I was a kid growing up, there were no other Glendas, but now there are more of us. Yes, I agree with you. That's exactly right. It was really an abnormal name. Nobody had, nobody called their kid Glenda. But now there's, they're coming out of the woodwork and it's wonderful. And as far as I know, it's a Welsh name. That's what I was told anyways. <clears throat> Are you bored with me putting these letters on here yet? Can you imagine doing this if I didn't have the adhesive sheets on there? This card would be impossible. Okay, two left to go. Don't forget, if you are enjoying this video, to share it with your friends and family and to hit those emojis and let Facebook know that this is worthwhile content. Okay. How's that? That work out okay? I think it is. We'll just go over top of it and make sure it's attached. I do appreciate it when you guys hit those emojis and make Facebook happy. Okay, so now I'm going to stamp the sentiment. And this is happy. And then I'm going to fussy cut it. Now, you don't have to fussy cut it. You can leave it. Okay, so let me, there. You can leave it rectangular if you want. You don't have to fussy cut it like I did. So I will cut it rectangular. And then you can let me know if you want me to cut it like that is. Or leave it this way. Hmm. I think I'm going to use my trimmer though. Hang on. Let's see if I can get this relatively straight. Funny story, when I was doing a private class, we were using this stamp set and they had to stamp. Um, let me get it out. We had to stamp the birthday and then we stamped the happy, like in a light color. And then we stamped the happy over top of it. Only they were looking at it this way. They couldn't figure out what the word was. It was so funny. You thought, Glenda thought it was weird because of her name. I hated it, but I love it now. I have Irish, Scotch and Welsh and me on my mom's side. Ah, okay. So, um, you can leave it square like that, or 
I can fussy cut it. So which do you prefer? Do you want me to cut it out or leave it square? You can decide while I stamp the inside in the envelope. So I'm going to use Tahitian Tide Fussy Cut. Aha. I'm going to use Tahitian Tide and the small motorcycle from the stamp set. I must have ink on my fingers. I keep getting, I keep getting a mung on my cards. Okay. This motorcycle goes a different, the different way, so I have to do it on the right hand side instead of on the left where I normally do it. But on the envelope, I'm still going to do it on the same side. That gives me more room to write the postal code on the other side. There we go. Everybody wants it fussy cut. Of course, because, you know, you like watching me fussy cut, right? Okay, let's get this inside and get it out of the way. And I will prepare to fussy cut. Then, do you want me to show you those, um, the favored flowers cards that I was going to do? Because I did do them. I They were left over from my seniors group last week. I think I had four of them and I got them all done. I had to, speaking of fussy cutting. Okay, here we go. Uh-oh, my scissors are sticky. Hang on, let me get rid of the stick. So this is a, a glue eraser. You get it at the dollar store. And it works wonders on getting the mung off of your scissors. See that? It's all done. Perfect. Okay, here we go. Oh, and a fussy cut. Apparently I'm fussy cutting really close tonight. Don't always do that. So there's still time to register for my Irresistible Blooms class. Registration is open now. Um, I closed registration for the On the Ocean class because I had to prep it before we left. So it's now officially closed two days early. But registration for um, Irresistible Blooms is open. And it's open till the 1st of April. Three kits for three cards, plus the designer paper, plus the loose frosted dots for $45 or the bundle, the Irresistible Blooms bundle, plus the designer paper. You get a full package of six by six designer paper and a full package of the frosted dots, the loose frosted dots for $125. The tutorial only option is 15 and you get tutorials for three cards. If you are part of my monthly tutorial, which is $15 a month with a minimum three month commitment, you get four cards. So you get an extra card tutorial. And then if you decide you want to upgrade and get either the cards plus or the bundle plus, then I deduct your, your fee, your monthly fee, from the price of the class. So for instance, if you pay $15 a month for your monthly tutorial subscription, the um, cards plus kit is $45. So you would pay $30 and upgrade to get the kits for the three cards plus a full pack of designer paper plus a package of loose frosted dots. Oh, Holly, were you going to do the on on the ocean? Well, send me a send me a message. I did it early because I'm not going to be here and I had to mail out the 
ones that went out of town. So they're all going in the mail tomorrow. But if you still want to do it, because you are part of my monthly tutorial subscription, I will make an exception. This is, this is really fussy cutting, this one. Let me tell you. Almost done. Yay. Got the end of the Y to do here. And was that a pun? You missed the boat for on the ocean? <laughs> I just got that. <laughs> oh, God. Some days my brain, I don't know. Okay. So now we're going to get some pieces of dimensional. I'm going to put it on here because I want this popped up like that. Okay, and that. And on there, a little piece top of the A. Okay, push them on so they don't come off. Take off the, the liners. So don't let me forget that you wanted me to show you those um, favorite flower cards. And I will, I will get them before we say goodnight. There we go. Okay. Get our happy on here. Right up against that edge. There we go. So there's our sentiment. It's a different way of doing it. I think it's crooked. Oh, well, that's where it's staying. Now, just the motorcycle. And it's up on dimensionals too. But because it's got a nice solid back, I don't have to be fussy for anything except for the handlebars. We'll just put a piece on the handlebars. There we go. Oh, and there needs to put one. Whoops. One right there. You are special, Holly. You're one of my special peeps. Okay, and that's going to go on there. Uh oh, apparently there's a piece of liner. When it when the when the letter pops up like that, it tells me that there's still a piece of the liner on the back there that did not come off. So it's gonna. There we go. There we are. Okay. Don't forget to hit those, emo those emojis and share my video. So while I'm away, I have things queued up. So I'm going to, there's going to be videos from a couple of years ago. There's going to be cards that you've seen before. There's going to be cards that you haven't seen before. There's going to be a whole bunch of stuff happening. There's our card. Just have the the adhesive back studs to put on now. And see, it only took 45 minutes to get to that to get to that um, to get the card finished because I didn't do anything beforehand. I did none of the cutting because I wanted you to be able to see um, how easy this card is to put together. I don't know why they had give us all different kinds of studs, but let's use them all. I'll use them all. There we go. What do you think? Pretty cool card, eh? Now I have two of them. What do you think? Do you think I would get away with giving both of my children the same card? <laughs> I don't know. 
Okay, I have to write a note. I have to write a note or I'm going to forget that Holly wants that class because if she emails me tomorrow, it's going to be too late. Holly Ocean Kits Plus. Okay. All right, I'm going to go get those cards now that you wanted to see. <laughs> Oh, and I should show you this one, too. Because some of you may not have seen the card from last week. So this is the card I did in my VIP group on Thursday. Isn't that cool? So if you want to know how to make that one, you got to become a member of my VIP group because it's over there. Oh, Marlene, you're going to love it. Yes. And I will let you know when yours ships. Okay, here we go. So I made custom envelopes for all of them. Used a strip of designer paper on the bottom and another strip on the top. Put a little, a quarter, a half inch piece of the shimmer, fine shimmer paper to cover up where they mat, meet, and then I added flowers on the front. So this one had, uh, it was an edge flower, so it was cut off. Then I had another one that this part was cut off. So I just cut out the leaves of one and put it in behind the flowers of another one, and there you go. And then that's what I did on the inside. I finished off all the insides with designer paper too. So that's one. There's the envelope for the second one. And there we go. <laughs> Two special. They are twins. Yep. Yeah, I, I try not to. Like, we never dress them the same. They each had their own birthday cakes. Um, if they got If they got presents. If they were good enough to get presents, sometimes the presents weren't the same. It would be Lego, but it would be different Lego. Okay, so there's this one. And I did the, the piecing thing with this one too. This one had, this was cut off. And on this one, that was cut off. So I just layered them on, oh, apparently I need more adhesive on there. But see, you can see how it's layered on top of each other. And then there's the inside of that one. And then... I did a purple envelope and there's the purple card and the inside. And then there's this one and there's the inside of that. So I used all the edge pieces because when you have, when you have this, this paper, it, it like, they're cut off on the edges, right? Where the edge of your cardstock is. Well, don't throw that away. You can use that on the inside in the envelopes or just make envelopes out of it. And there's the, this is the original one I did. And there. So these are just um, pearls. What are they called? Pastel pearls. And they're, they're in all different colors of purple. Thanks. Okay. So that's, that's that. Let me get things out of the way here because I'm going to draw now for Share It Saturday for the 18th of February. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16. We had 22. 22 entries. That is so exciting. I remember when I started this. I was lucky, we were lucky if there was like four people did cards. Now we had 22. I'm so excited. Oh, thanks everybody. Ah, yes, trees and the carrots. Yep. I think I just said that card out as a thank you card today. Okay, I'm just trying to get things moved out of my way because I'm having, I'm having a card avalanche. There we go. Okay. 
So I have to take my phone down. Get it ready to. Thanks, Carmen. Get it ready. There's the wheel. Oh, wait. Got to do this first. And then I go to the wheel. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. I didn't put the I didn't put the name on it tonight. I forgot. Just let me turn this a little bit this way. There we go. Okay, so there's all the entries. I'm going to shuffle once, shuffle twice, and the winner of the February the 18th Share It Saturday Share is Drumroll Police. Oh, da -da -da. I lost my pencil. Uh oh, there it is. Oh, Heidi G. Heidi Gillespie. Congratulations, Heidi. I will be in touch to get your um get your address and I'll get a card off to you. And I believe Heidi lives on the island too. Yes, congratulations, Heidi. That's so exciting. I love giving stuff away. It's so fun. I have a stack of mail, no lie, it's this thick that has to go in the mail tomorrow. I guess the post office is going to be busy with me, but it's got all my, all my March stuff is going in the mail tomorrow. So if you're expecting club stuff or you're expecting thank you cards, they're going out. Now, just because I'm away um, starting Wednesday for 10 days, doesn't mean I'm not reachable. I'm still here. Don't forget first of March, you get to order the irresistible blooms stuff the designer paper, and the dies. So those are those four cards that I showed you at the beginning. This uses the, the gorgeous paper. Now, if you want to see that paper, let me know. I can show you the paper, but I've showed it before. So that you can start ordering on the 1st of March. I am going to be doing an order at um, the night of February the 28th. So tomorrow night, when it flips over to midnight mountain time, I can start placing orders. So I will be staying up. I have a couple of orders that I need to place tomorrow night. But if you are looking to get anything and you don't want to do an online order, I will have internet. I can still put orders in. I'm still got email. You can message me on Facebook. You can send text messages to my cell phone, email. You can still get a hold of me the normal way. You can even phone me. I might be on the beach, but I'll still answer at some point. So if you send me a message and I don't get back to you right away like I normally do, it's because we're out walking the beach. And um, I will get back to you as soon as I can. So don't forget about me. I'm going to try and do a couple of um, Facebook Lives from the beach. It'll probably be really windy, but I'll show you where I am. I'll do one from my rock because I like my rock and I'll show you my rock. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for hanging out with me tonight. Um, there's still time to get celebration stuff. You still got until tomorrow night at 11 o'clock Pacific time. And it's still time to get that starter kit. You can choose $225 worth of stuff, like $225 worth of stuff. So you could get the new, the big die cutting machine and still have money left over. Am I going to be chilly on my vacation? Yes, we will be chilly. But we bring four seasons of clothes in our trailer. So no matter what the weather does, we always have clothes to wear and we have layers. So the colder it is, the more layers I wear. And then the outside layer is always rain wear, which is windproof. So once you get enough layers on, you're fine. So we'll just put layers on, stick more wood on the fire. And we don't camp, we glamp. So we have a, a trailer, an RV, and it's got a furnace and running hot water and shower. And yeah, I it's... The only thing that's going to stop it is if there's snow between here and Tofino on the roads because it's not fun towing a trailer in the snow. We've done it before. Don't want to do it again. So keep your fingers crossed for no snow. Thank you, everybody.
Um, have a good night, and I will see you soon in my craft room. Stampin' Smiles. Bye for now. <laughs>